Hello, in this lesson, we will study how to use and apply the array. What is array? Array is a variable with the same type and it can be stored to a container or to the list. Well, um, sometimes array is mutable and there are arrays that are not mutable. If you are talking about mutable, maybe to say you can add, you can modify, and you can delete the index or element inside the container. So, we are using the array to store the data as a stateful and stateless type of data. If you are talking about stateful, maybe to say, you need a server, you need a database driver to store your records. But if it is a stateless type of data, well, of course, that is a portable type of data wherein you can write a code immediately and, of course, kick off your program and then store that data in a plain text. Okay, now, this is a quick lesson in Array and uh, I want you to observe and uh, watch the rest of this video. Now, we start with our Array here and we declare our ID. Okay, our ID here is demo. And uh, we are using the elements of HTML. Of course, that is very obvious that we have the H1 and the body. And uh, right after that, we need to infuse the script command. So we will declare the variable here. We are using the reserve word of the JavaScript uh, uh, command as var. And we have here the arrays. The arrays are, um, well, of course, close by the opening close bracket. So we are using three um, data here, apple, grapes, and guav. So I will use another variable. We have the variable i and variable text. So I am planning to use text as part of just like a decoy variable because later on I'm going to fit the data and put that in my text variable. Okay, i is also another variable wherein I will use that to uh, create the loop and to count the number of arrays inside the uh, array list. So here we have here the for loop command and we compare the i to the value of the array and we increment the value of i. So the next time, and, and the next statement is, of course, we need to infuse the text. Remember the text, we don't have the value for the text, meaning to say text will serve as just like a um, uh, string where we um, display the output. So we have here the value of array and, of course, the counter of i, and then we put the elements of slash br so that the display of our program will be in vertical position. So this is part of the iteration process. If you know how to loop well of course that's great because we have discussed this already in the previous uh, tutorial now we need to bring down this demo id and put that inside our uh, object okay um, the doom and we call the text now when we need to edit up and then close it of course all right so that is the program okay let us run our program now this is now uh, the, the source code of our uh, uh, example uh, program in JavaScript. So we will uh, call our program. Okay. So the name of my program is JavaScript four point HTML. As you can see, when we run the program, okay, it displays the apple grapes in guava. Let us uh, fix this guava. This guava. <laughs> this is this guava. This is guava. Okay. Okay. When we run it, that is guava. Why three? Because we have only three elements inside our array. At the same time, we loop it. We use the i variable to um, create us the counter and we compare the i to the uh, length of the array that is x now let us add another data here okay so we have here orange and let us type lemon okay let's check if the array will uh increase okay so we have here apple gra uh, grapes guapa orange and lemon all right so array is very simple no? all you have to do is to start from the basic and um, just uh, observe the sentence but if we will ask the user to enter the array that is you know one of the question using the principles of input and output input is to enter the data and output force to produce whatever you entered in the input side okay now we'll ask the user to enter the data so we create a variable of ask of course you can create your own variable and we will call ask and of course use the prompt command of your javascript okay so the purpose of the prompt command is to enter the data so enter any fruit name okay in the array all right that's it so let us check that. So we have here the x as our array. And at the same time, we have here, of course, the x as our container for the array. And we will uh, call the JavaScript methods for the array so that we can um, add or we can save and store or push the value of ast inside our array. So x that push. The purpose of point is to call the methods of array that is push. We can use the push, we can use the pop, we can use the slice, we can use the splice and ship. These are examples of your uh, JavaScript method. So when we run the program, okay, let us check. Now, we will enter the data, okay? 
So that is now the prompt command. We enter mango. So when we check it, there you have it. We have mango. Okay, so that is cool, right? Again, we enter another fruit, all right? So we will think of a fruit. Ah, okay, we'll put banana. Okay, that is, okay, and add up, um, you know, uh, data in your array, okay? So that's how you use the array, all right? Now let us add a uh, an, another uh, element at the bottom of our JavaScript, okay? So that we can look the program and... Uh, we can start to uh, enter the data. No, every time we click the program, it will ask the user to enter the data. So we have here the JavaScript for HTML for that. This is my name, my program, and of course we have the properties of target to call up the a parent uh, at the same time when we enter the program. It will just like override the previous page and then display uh, another page that is the parent page. So we have here the anchor as our element to call the program. Okay, so let us check and save the program. When we run the program, okay, let us enter another fruit. We have here, let us think, okay, kiwi. Okay, so we have it. You have the link every time you click that. Okay, so it's up for you guys to study the code. Okay. We will add another um, JavaScript methods here. Like for example, we need to enter or to insert a data inside the array element. How to do that? It's very simple. So as you can see, we'll be using the variable x to call the method so we have the following methods okay we are using only the push to store the array but in reverse for that the push is you are uh, used uh, but in reverse for that uh, there is the push command and of course there is the pop command the pop command is the reverse of the push command wherein pop is to uh, delete or remove the elements of the array now how to use the splice command the splice command is one of your array javascript uh, methods okay so i will explain here how to use the splice command this is where you insert the data inside the array any uh part of the array so we have here x that splice as you can see we have here the two i will put the one okay one is the offset of your array data so the array uh, data is starting in index of zero so we count it from zero one two three four five in our case we have here zero one two three four five so one two three four five so that is the figure of or the numbers of array but we are using the uh, offset to determine the address of the array zero is where another zero okay that is the number uh to remove or to be removed inside the array so we don't need to remove any uh data in our array so we will be putting the star apple in the offset one therefore grapes will be moved to the next line and after the apple the star apple will appear before the grapes data okay so that's it so we have the star apple and grapes why because apple is zero grapes is one and of course we have apple zero star apple is one now so that is the offset of your uh, array elements now it says that to two okay for example now it's very simple we have to just to count from zero zero one uh, zero apple one grapes and two grappa and of course we're expecting that the star apple will okay let us check okay oh we have an error right here i think we missed to put the double quotation in our data right here the star apple okay let us fix this first okay now what will happen okay let us run the program okay when we run the program let us enter banana so the offset is two therefore star apple will uh be displayed after the grapes data uh, can you copy okay all you have to do is to review this and uh, please uh, don't forget to share and like and subscribe this channel okay um, you can still uh, rewind this video and uh, study the codes okay have a nice day thank you